Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this exhibition match stream. I'm Shadow Fury 33, bringing you a few replays from last week. Akron starting out with a game between Catalyte and Monkuki. It's gonna be on Felsic Inferno. Let us begin. Yeah, Monkuki starting on the. What the hell? Okay, we have debuggers. Not sure what that's about. That's actually become weird. Okay. Point out, this is the new version of the game, which apparently has some scripting errors I did not know about. Or at least I don't know that it's prevalent. Anyway, Mongoogie is starting out Vekir. Catalyte is... Let's see what he's going for. Is there one to hide this? Nope. No, there isn't. Anyway. Sorry about this. Catalyte going for CISO. He is... Ours is going to go for right now. But it looks like he is... No, going for a very quick rush strategy. Or at least he's going for probably an echo attack. I mean, he's not going to probably be rushing, just going forward, seeing what his opponent's up to. Faking a rush, at least. Monkuki looks like he will probably be also going for a foundation rush. Probably echoed out, but we'll see. Actually, no, it looks like... Wow, that's really early in the timeline. I think he's committed to this one. This is a Bastion rush, getting auto-defense, getting all of his units into Catalyte's base, building some foundations, and then turning those into Bastions. Now that he has... Auto defense up that will work, and he has the resources as well, so he is committed to this one. While Catalyte, on the other hand, not so much. He is moving his RPs forward. What the? Heck? Okay, I think he's he really must be echo scouting with this because otherwise it'd be suicide. But units getting me units are meeting up, and the Shinbeer does go down. Actually, goes on first. Tethir and Zyndir follow soon after. So, Monkuki is going to have to rethink this a bit, or at least rethink his positioning on this one. He does have auto defense, but he's lost all the units he's going to use to rush with. And, as far as he knows, Catalyte is committed to being that center of the map there. Attacking pretty hard as well. In fact, Catalyte, if Monkuki does not get off of this strategy, I think Catalyte could just go for this if he doesn't echo it out. But Catalyte is going to have to deal with re from Monkuki. Looks like Monkuki is going to be just trying his best, though. We are looking from his point of view, and he... Might go up north and around, though I don't know. That or build up some foundations in the center. He may just be assuming that Catalyte is purely echoing this out. That he's not actually going to commit to this, that he's simply echoing it out. I kind of doubt it. But we'll see. Anyway, we do have... Well, more pausing coming here from Monkey. Your Catalyte's point of view, however, let's go back to that. He is actually... Oh, this is present. Never mind. Catalyze's point of view. He is a bit further back. And he is still committed to this. Even at the 41-second mark, he is jumping back to when he chose the species. And it looks like... Yeah, he is... He seems committed. I'm surprised. He... I would think he'd be echoing this out. Auto defense is up, but it is going to be distracted by the resource processors. So if nothing else, that's at least getting in the way of auto defense and allowing this marine to deal the damage it needs to. Though there is another marine as well. There's two marines here. And the foundation will go down if Monkuki doesn't change it up. But it looks like Monkuki has no plans to do so up front. Is he going to build more units? That's the thing. He might be building more infantry here. If he builds his Iron Veer here, he will be fine. But if he builds anything else, he's kind of going to be screwed. We'll find out, though. It looks like he's... Well, we'll see. I don't know. I think that Monkuki has... No idea what to do, but... On the other hand, Catalyte... Did he relent? I think he just lost something here. I mean, it looks like... Hold on a sec. Oh, hang on, hang on. Did Catalyte... Yeah, it looks like Catalyte actually is holding back. He's not going for it. He would have won the game at that point, but he's not going for it. Instead, he's holding back, going for a later game strategy. He does have his Marine go up, but that's getting undone. And it really was just stupid debug error wasn't happening. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, Catalyte is going for an economic build. Mogui, on the other hand, continuing with his original strategy, pushing forward the foundation versus Shinbeer is about to drop a foundation. Is going to get killed in time, though. Mogui, it depends on his point of view. He's, he's going to be dropping that foundation the first chance he gets. That Shinbeer is the priority target. If it drops a foundation, then after that, it's going to be auto defense. Not even have to be a bastion, just the auto defense off the foundation is enough. But a Bastion is, of course, something that could be built on top of that. And will very likely be done. And there's that first foundation being dropped down. Catalyte is in a tight spot right now. No way of, no reinforcements whatsoever. 
no armory, no factory. He's got no way of getting out of this without actually managing to, I guess, micro his way around this. That's all he has going for him right now. And really, Monkey is in the, the winning spot. However, Zion Veer is the first to go. The Teth and Shin Veer do not have quite the same amount of firepower. The, fire, the Zion Veer is the anti-ground Veer class unit. That is the one that needs to be kept alive for this to work out. But even then, it doesn't matter. The, the foundations are probably going to be enough, all things considered. The Teth and Shin Veer will go down. And after that, the foundations, they... turning into, One of them turning into a Bastion. The other two still up, healing up that Bastion. Another Bastion being built up, and this is probably going to do Catalyte in. This is, by the way, right next to the Impeble Pass, Edge. There isn't a whole lot Catalyte can do, and Monkey not yet building anything up at his base, but I'm not sure if it matters. At this point, Monkey basically has the game just by these Foundations and Bastions. He doesn't need to worry about building anything at this point. He probably could, just in case, but... One Reen in the back here, starting to get hit by the Bastions. There is very little Catalyte can do besides trying to run away. I mean, Monkuki has committed a lot to his main base, but no, he's got nothing. Catalyte jumping up the 3 4 mark, trying to use these found these RPs to distract the Bastions, but that's not going to do any good. This is pretty much game. That was... Yeah, that sucks too for Catalyte. He actually had the game there. He echoed out the attack that would have won in the game because of this rush, and that that's all he needed to do was keep that attack going. Otherwise, it would have been fine. So that was, well, that was a game. And I think Catalyze is just doing his normal thing of waiting too bloody long. He is over scouting out just to see what's going on inside this base, inside of Monkey's base. He's gonna find there's not much special, but at least he knows if nothing else before these RPs get all destroyed, what exactly happened and down they go. So yeah, Catalyze got nothing, absolutely nothing. This is. This is it. I mean, he already had actually lost the game. Fully destroyed back there, so... Like, back near the Unplayable... Near the, near the left edge timeline, actually. Not even the Unplayable past edge. The RPs don't count towards you being alive, and yeah, Catalyte's dead. So, hope you enjoyed that. I'll have another one for you guys shortly, which should be much less crazy. So, stay tuned.